I don't want you to get mad at me. Oh, no, I'm not mad. I found a way. I found a way to get the hell out of the house in the goddamn way. <laughs> After Beetlejuice would make his name on the Howard Stern radio show, where he quickly became known as the most iconic member of the Whack Pack. Look at those teeth. Now, uh. let me ask you about those teeth. You were missing teeth for a while. Do they drill them right into your head, or can you pull them out? I can pull them out. You can? Yeah. Let me see. After Beetlejuice would become yet another celebrity to fall prey to the dreaded death hoax. I'm scared. You don't like graveyards? No, I don't. After Beetlejuice would have 142,000 subscribers on YouTube, over 413,000 followers on Twitter, and over 2 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. I don't know about you guys, but I feel pretty confident when I say there aren't too many people on planet Earth like Lester Green, the man better known to many as Beetlejuice. This 53-year-old actor, comedian, and all-around entertainer who suffers from microcephaly and dwarfism was popular a long time before currently trending celebrities like Hasbulla and Abdu. And don't think for a second that he wants you to forget that. The next day, the mother was dead. But these days, Beetlejuice isn't as prevalent as he once was. He hardly ever appears on the Howard Stern show anymore, and when his name does pop up in the news, it's because people are worried that he's passed on. So what's the deal with Lester keeping such a low profile? Well, you're about to find out in our newest episode of Where Are They Now? Hey, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer. Recent drops in this series have included looks at the cast of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and Macklemore. If you're into those, please check those videos out. Since this show works off requests, don't forget to leave us some ideas with who you want to see next, and I'll see you guys after the intro. Beetlejuice was born Lester Green in Jersey City, New Jersey on June 2nd, 1968. From an early age, Lester was diagnosed with multiple health issues including dwarfism and microcephaly, which is a condition where the proportions of your head do not grow to match the rest of your body. I might have a strong case of microcephaly somewhere else if you know what I mean. <laughs> no? Poor taste, I get it. Beetlejuice is approximately um, 4 feet 3 inches tall and weighs about 92 pounds. On top of that, he's always suffered from his trademark dental issues. But what makes Lester special is his ability to rise above those perceived handicaps to create a life for himself that no one expected him to have. Well, no one except himself. Did you ever think you would become such a big star? Yeah. So it's no surprise to you? No, it's no surprise for me, no. You knew it had to, you knew yeah, it had to I be knew it. Yeah, I knew it, yeah, I knew I had it. Yeah. Even when Lester was much younger, he stood out amongst his peers. During his special education courses at school, Lester would always be handpicked by the teachers to help out and assist others. In fact, one of those teachers ended up being the mother of Hollywood star Jerry O'Connell, and after these two met, they became fast friends. And you'll notice a trend with Beetlejuice of just meeting the right people at the right time. When Lester grew older, he met a man named Sean Rooney at a bar one night, and he was hired to become part of Rooney's dwarf tossing company. Working with this organization, Lester was given the name of Beetlejuice, due to his resemblance to the character Harry the Hunter from the popular Tim Burton film. Like I said, right place, right time. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice got his famous nickname from the movie Beetlejuice where um, the man's head was shrunk um, because his head is, you know, a little bit smaller than a normal size. Through Rooney, Lester eventually found himself joining the Howard Stern Show, where he made his first appearance in 2001. Where do you, where can we see someone like you? You have a very tiny head. I got a big head. Yeah, you got a small head. His amazing sense of comedic timing and his ability to crack Howard up had him fitting in perfectly and he quickly became a recurring part of the show. This mainstream exposure also allowed him to book other big time gigs like his short but memorable stint as a wrestler in the WCW. This was an amazing time in television period. Spittlejuice, what's hey, up? Hey, Stat Would you call me? Stat Nut. You know who you're talking to? Yeah, you, Stat Nut. Before he knew it, Lester was so in demand that he was even being offered roles in Hollywood productions like the 2001 film Bubble Boy. As well as Scary Movie 2. With a dedicated fan base now following his every move, Lester decided that he wanted to conquer the world of rap next. And so he ventured into the music industry, joining the hip hop group Smut Peddler, featuring on three singles from their 2001 debut album, Porn Again. These names, Smut Peddler, Porn Again, just art, right? Are you ready for the Smut Peddlers? You ready for the Smut Peddlers? Smut Peddlers, Smut Peddlers. This caught the eye of other hip hop stars like Nori, who then recruited Lester for his 2002 music video, Grimy. What's up, man? Hey, What's the matter know. with you? It wasn't me. Hey, I can't 
The following year, Lester would be invited to appear on the sketch comedy show, Doggy Fizzle Televizzle, but none other than, of course, Snoop Doggy Dog. Eventually, by 2005, Lester had created a big enough following that he decided to enter the ring of amateur prize fighting, squaring off against opponents of a similar size long before it became the popular celebrity trend that you see today. A pioneer, a trendsetter, Beetlejuice. Hell yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it! Did I say Trump? I'm telling you what! <laughs> But it was also around this time that Beetlejuice began slowing down. Between 2005 and 2008, he mainly relegated himself to the occasional appearance on The Howard Stern Show. Then in 2009, his longtime manager Sean Rooney passed away, and his management fell to Sean's brother Bobby. Looking to prove his worth, Bobby landed Lester his dream gig, his very own reality television show. This is Beetle. I asked him about it. I said, Beetle, when was the last time you had your teeth cleaned? And he said it was like 1960, what was it? 1969. 1969 was the last cleaning he had, so I figured he was a little bit overdue. And I have no idea why I've never heard of it. I'm going home to watch it now. Unfortunately, the show didn't last that long. After This is Beetle, Lester would take a major step back from the spotlight. In fact, he hasn't appeared on The Howard Stern Show since 2016, when he last dropped by to hype up his newly released Emoji app. Which emoji? Let's say I want to send some loving message to my wife, Beth, who you know. Okay. You've claimed you've banged her. I know you wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh. oh, your wife already knows. She already told me I banged her. Following that recording, Lester moved home to live with his mom in Georgia, and he's apparently had trouble reaching Howard ever since. Shady stuff. Bobby Bowie, they shot him off. I tried to call Bobby Bowie, they shot him off. Did you try calling Robin? I tried. After returning to Georgia, Lester began hiring out his services to private parties and promoted himself through his website, jollydwarf.com. Since this lifestyle changed, the most recent time Lester made the news was when the internet suddenly seemed convinced that he had passed on in early 2020. But like with most of these rumors, it proved to be nothing more than a hoax as his manager, Bobby, made clear in a comedic tweet. This rumor might also have had something to do with the passing of actor Glenn Shaddix, who appeared in the movie Beetlejuice and passed away back in 2010. She's still upset because somebody dropped a house on her sister. But considering that happened nearly a decade before this rumor began making the rounds, who really knows? Sometimes people don't bother to read anything more than a headline, and even then, they read them poorly, which can lead to ridiculous stories like this one propagating online. As for where he'll pop up next, well, that's a story for another time and another place. After all, this is Where Are They Now, and you're all caught up with the recent history of Lester Green, the man known as Beetlejuice. Be sure to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Before They Are Famous, so you can vote on who we talk about next, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.